Hey guys, it's is Stu here, and welcome back to Let's Play Skies of Arcadia Legends. In the last part, we found out about Dakit's treasure, thanks to Pedro. Vote for him, by the way. And we also have, uh, we cleaned up a few treasures here, and oh, we almost forgot. Before we head off looking for Dakit's island, we should warn the king about Valua's plans. So yeah, we should probably head up over this way and... Warn the uh, Nas Sultan, I believe as he's called, about Valua's impending invasion. I'm trying to plug in a cord real quick. There we go, got it. <clears throat> this is the royal palace of Nas of the Nas Sultan. If you do not have official business, then you are not welcome here. Wow, Nas Sultan. The rulers of Nasser always take on the title of Nasultan. This is the royal palace. I see, so we would like to tell this Nasultan guy about Valua's plan to attack. Please, we must speak to the Nasultan right away. Let us through. What? You wish to speak to the Nasultan? Do you think we would allow commoners in the royal palace? I have important information regarding the Valuan Armada. Please, let us pass. Important information about the Vluans? Hmm. Vlu is our greatest enemy. If you have information about them, then perhaps you can let we can let you speak to the Nest Sultan. Very well. I will grant you permission to enter the royal palace. Now you'll have to follow me. Heh, oh. <laughs> not too shabby, kid. Who would have thought two ruffians like this would be able to meet the Nest Sultan? Well, I just figured that if they knew we were doing some doing them a favor, they'd let us in. So you are the air pirates who escaped from the Grand Fortress, eh? I am the Nas Sultan of the Nassar Kingdom. What is it you want from me? Valua is planning to attack on Na attack on Nasrat. They are already organizing their forces. You should warn your people to an and assemble your fleet right away. Ha ha ha! You came all this way to tell me this. Do not fear. Our navy is powerful enough to crush the Valuan Armada. But your Majesty, you shouldn't underestimate them. You need to assemble your fleet, or many innocent lives will be lost. Ha ha ha! You seem very concerned about Nasser for an air pirate. Nasrat is shielded by mountains in the south, and sky rifts to the east. It is impossible for them to evade. If they were to try and invade us, it would have to be from the north, and that is where our fleet is located. The south Danil Strait is properly guarded, and the maelstrom blocks off the north Danil Strait. In other words, it'd be impossible for anyone to invade us. Ha 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 ha. But, do not worry. Nassar is protected by the Red Moon. Valua cannot touch us. And besides, if someone as young as you can get past the Armada, perhaps they're losing their edge. Imagine that, the once mighty Valuan Armada fooled by a boy. Ha 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 It's no use, Vice. I don't think you'll listen to anything we have to say. Let's stop wasting our time and get back to looking for Dakot's Island. I don't know, he seems way too overconfident, but I hope for his sake he's right. Come on, let's go. And apparently he's cocky, selfish, stubborn. We have a boat. Oh boy, we have a boat and torpedo boobs. Alright, it's a little small, but we have brought a ship we bought a ship. Yes, but the gold that we got from Clara and working's working is all gone now. Don't worry, we can get more by fighting monsters. I mean, don't worry about it, Fiona. We all need all we need to do is find Jacket's treasure and we'll be fine. Let me see. Did that map say where the island was located? The dead will always watch over my treasure. It is located. Well, where is it? Oh no, it's torn off. I can't see what it says. It looks like the only way we'll be able to find out where the island is is the clue. I think the skull on the map has something to do with it. Well, it's not going to do us any good, just sitting around doing nothing. We might as well start searching. Yes! Alright, so we've got a ship. Set sail for Dakis Island. Okay. Now, it is time. No. 
On the treasure map, it says the dead wolves protect the watch over my treasure, and there's a skull here on the eastern part of the balloon continent. I wonder if that's to do with anything. No, that's not what we're looking for, Aka. First, we're going to be looking for discoveries, the ones that we missed. So if you remember it from the last part, there's one down here that kind of likes to do a little bit of uh, moving around. And I'm trying to figure out how do we get over there. Wait a second there, Fina. Isn't that the flu up ahead? What are we going to do? Yeah. And that was an interesting way for the ship to go. Can we... Okay, those enemies are tough, these two. Um, well, it says it goes around this island. I don't know. It should be... What we're looking for is called the Map of Ages. It says it goes from 11.6 and 10.6, or 11.6 to 10.6, to 10.5 to 11.5. But let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. That's like over here. And down here. That's Maramba, not Mesrad. Unless I'm reading this wrong, or their coordinates are wrong. Hmm. I don't know. Alright. So... What we're looking for is really low. And it's gonna be flying around, so... Unfortunately, we're gonna be doing a bit of looking. I'll, uh, I'll cut away till I see it, and I'll see you guys when I get to it, so see you guys in just a bit. Found it! There it is. and we found the map of ages. What once used to be a grand map of the skies carved into a beautiful stone tablet is now a weather-worn, crumbling slab of rock. It is said that the map is but a portion of the original, but nobody knows what keeps it afloat. Very interesting, would you say? Anyway, that just about does it for our discoveries of the area. We have one more. It is located... Excuse me just a moment. Going around basically the same area. It goes in a triangular path between the island that Vice was on, Discovery 29, the Balloon Flower, and just southeast of where we're going next. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to where Vice was, which is, well, now, okay, yes, we do get a name for it. Crescent Isle, good, I can stop. So I'm going to head up there. And what I'll do is I'm just going to sit beneath the island because it kind of heads around in this area. It'll come from the south, so I'll just turn around south and I'll wait there for it. And when I see it, I will meet you guys back. And hopefully, get it. It's a little small. Um, you basically want to be looking for a... Well, you know when you blow on a dandelion and one of those things flies off? Look for something like that. You'll know it when you see it, trust me. Anyway, I'll see you guys here in just a minute when I find it. Found it! There it is. The Balloon Seed. There's a time when balloon flowers can be seen throughout the lands, but now they only exist in history books. But where there are seeds, there must be flowers. Perhaps the history books are not quite so accurate. Alrighty then. Finally. I had to wait for that one for a bit, just while I went searching for it, honestly. Anyway, we want to set sail for Dackett's Island. It's located just north of here, so just over here. You've see, probably seen these islands if, when you're uh, sailing towards Crescent Isle, or uh, just southeast of here. It's any one of these islands. 
Ah, that one probably. Or at least that's what I'm betting. Yep, there we go. And, yeah, there's a champ. There it is. There's Aka's item get little thingamabala. Let's give Cupid those champs. Maybe we can get something out of him. Nope. Anyway, there's actually a lot of treasure here. First noticeably, there is a giant pressure plate and a door. Hey, boy, won't this door open? It won't even budge. There's something written on here. It's an old language, but I think I can read it. When the two become one, the path will reveal itself to you. What's that supposed to mean? Why is Dackett being so stingy? It's not like any of his gold means anything to him anymore. And that was not me that just cut. That is the game. Well then, let's go find us some treasure. Okay, there's some directions on the map. To the north of the city of Sands, when the two pieces become whole, the way of the treasure will be known. I can't read anything before that. It's torn off. That's all it says. The city of the Sands probably refers to the city that was here before Nasrad. I think it was called Oasis. So it's, so it's to the north of here, huh? We can get there in no time with my ship. I'm a sailor without a ship at this point. There's no way I'll be able to search for my friends now. If we don't find the treasure, I'd like to use my share to buy a ship. Haha, <laughs> I like you, Vice. You never give up. Very well. Off we go. Well, if you just pay attention to where you're go when you're going, or where you are, you would have found them without the need to buy a ship. But, anyway, regardless, we're off on a mission. Two dinghies away. Alright, there we go. Just want to continue along now. We're heading to the same place as we were with uh, Aka and Fina. So just continue sailing north, northeasterly. I may cut out this trip. I do not know. A little bit more northeast. Alright, just continue sailing. Just keep sailing. Just keep sailing. And Crescent Island's coming into view. Means we're getting close, guys! Okay, here are the islands. There it is. So just head straight for it. That was pathetic. We ran into one, one of those scorpion enemies. <laughs> Literally, that was it. One. And even though we dock at the same place, we don't dock at the same place. So, let's examine this wall. This door is huge. I don't know how the two of us can open it. There's probably some sort of trick to opening it. <gasps> Saying there's some sort of trick to open it must be the trick to open it. What? What was that? Uh. We got shorter. Ah! What was that? Door opened. Whatever it was, it just opened the door. I don't know if it's good or bad. Well, considering you're trying to get in there, I'd say that's pretty good. And why do... They get fancy lights, but we get torches. I didn't touch anything, did you? Hmm, the map said something like when the two pieces come together. I wonder if anyone else is here. Huh, never mind. What are the chances of that? Pretty good, in your guys' case. Aka, what do you think we should do? I'm not sure, but the door open and there's treasure inside. We should go. Treasure bound Aka. Always trying to get the monies. Anyway, first thing we want to do is head to this little offshoot right here and grab a Skywing. This is an upgrade for Aka here. She's in a little bit need of one because she hasn't used, hasn't gotten a new weapon since the Grendel Wing, and it's shaped like a flying bird. Always trying to see how far it's thrown. Yep. Anyway, yeah, she's the only person who hasn't gotten an upgrade. Even Gilder got an upgrade before her, which is sad. Alright, we should have some new enemies in here, so I'll just talk over this battle. And yes, indeed, we do. Baru! They're red, so we want to use purple or blue. 
I'll go with purple for her and blue for her. Might as well learn a little bit of magic, right? And they're trying to run. Basically, cute little bunny friends. Although they're trying to kill us. Not very well, apparently, though. Apparently we're just that intimidating that they just want to run away. It's those torpedo boobs, I tell you. They're just scared of those torpedo boobs. They're gonna pop out and fire at you. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm terrible. I should not be making fun of the torpedo boobs. Although, at least they're not freaking Tifa from Final Fantasy VII who had freaking cantaloupe strapped to her chest. Cristales. Whoa. <laughs> anyway, this little thing here is a sword and a boomerang. You press A on it, you switch! So we've now switched to Vice and... Alright, just a fight with more Barack Obama, so... Nothing to really show there. And we here, we have a battle. With our friend Zivilin Bane. No Fina to worry about. Alas, we also don't have their SP tar charging, so... Uh, let's see, what do I want to do? I'll focus up here. Just focus up, get yourself a Cutlass Fury, and you'll be good. Also, you'll want to probably uh, hit Vice with a... Uh, a Glyph of Might. There we go. Just to power him up. Make this go by a little quicker and make it a little easier since there are only two of you here to kind of damage and heal. Although you're doing about... You do take out half his health like that. Unfortunately, he's going to burst. He's going to burst. Alright, do one more Cutlass Fury. And attack for good measures. There we go. Took him down. I wish they were all that easy. So do I. Zail Seed. And the sp super special option charge we get is Soul Crystal. Soul Power. Oh, looks like we have a new enemy. A Feralisk. And a Centralk. Centr so let's see. Um, Vice is a little hurting from that burst, but I think I'll be okay. So he is blue. He is weak to red. You are green. You're also weak to red. Take that. You missed Vice. Hey, we took him out. Okay, Centroc, you go down and red it. You are weak to purple or blue. I would go with the purple. And we're scaring the bunnies off. Seriously, Vice? Are you now Wario? Are you a German Wario? I, I would much like to know, because your accuracy is not that bad. And there we go, we killed the bunnies and the I wish they were all that easy. bug snakes. Not the rope snakes. The bug snakes. That is a reference to a video that probably no one on this channel has seen yet because it's not going up on where it's supposed to first. And light coat? I want a coat of light. Come on, give me coat of light. He can't even wear the coat of light. Can you wear the coat of light? You cannot wear the coat of light. Okay, that missed me. It's a drop. More 
light coats! Oh. What's this? Oh, my timer's up. A lever, I wonder what it's for. Hit it! Open the door! That's what it's for. Uh, before we continue, I'm going to use Vice's amazing magics to heal up. As soon as we get to this door, I'm going to call it apart and see you guys next time. I'll see you guys next time on Space Guys of Arcadia Le Legends. See you guys. Bye-bye.